Alright, we're here for round two. Uh, up a match currently. And this hand is kind of suspect. It's like, I have four real lands, none of which... They're, like, they're not fetches. And I could draw a Brainstorm, but then I could also just lock myself. So I don't know. This is... It's like all my colors. I have a Swiss Spear and a Probe and a Bolt, which is a good start. But I honestly think I have to Mulligan just because I have, like, way too many lands. Basically, I think I can do better on six. And this does seem like a better six to me. Obviously, it has kind of the same problems. But uh, at least we have a Force of Will. So that should be helpful. We'll see, though. Both these hands have been pretty weird. So, I don't know. Alright, so our opponent starts on Flooded Strand. Can't really infer too much information from that. And opponent is just taking a sweet time. Kind of unfortunate. I just want to play fast. Fast, fast, fast. Let's play Magic. Let's go. Get the Swiss Spear in there for one. Druid Days, which will hopefully be pretty nice. Uh, Tarn plus Strand could either be Blue White Delver, Blue White Red Delver, or the Mirror or Miracles. At this point, kind of looks like Miracles. And our opponent is playing around Days, which is unfortunate for us. Especially since we just drew one. So now uh, we, we could take a line that assumes that. Uh, this is not a mirror match, but even if it is a Miracles type deck, uh, he might have Stoneforge Mystic, which we might want this Fork Bolt for. So I'm not gonna, just gonna, I'm not just going to fork him, right there. And he has a pair of swords to kill my Swiss Spear, so now I don't have any pressure. I don't think that's really worth fighting over. Could certainly be wrong about that. And now I'm in a spot where I have no cards in my graveyard. Uh, I think one of my best bets is to be able to double daze a spell that he plays. I draw a Cabal Therapy, which is kind of out of left field, but that is basically my splash, but have yet to draw fetch land, so my mana is not exactly perfect. And now we're just playing draw go here for a little bit. And if he just passes again next turn, I'm probably bolting him in a turn, just so I don't have to discard on my turn. He fetches an end of my turn, which is somewhat curious, and goes for the Vendillion Click, uh, which I am going to happily daze. Not going to return my land, because if I had to daze, say, like a Jace the Mind Sculptor, then I'd be left with zero lands, and that would kind of suck. And he just goes for a True Name Nemesis. Um, and this... This is kind of awkward. I feel like if he had days, he probably would have just dazed me there, so I don't feel too bad forcing here. That could have been another consideration to just pick up an island with days, but yeah, it does not look like there is a daze there or a spell pierce, thankfully. Um, and now, what do we think our opponent has? Because he just ran out his two creatures, hasn't been casting any like brainstorms or ponders. Uh, Presumably, if he had Force of Will, he would have fought with that to resolve True Name. Uh, so, it could just be another True Name Nemesis. Uh, Treasure Cruise. So, I think it's got to be True Name or Treasure Cruise. Uh, or Lightning Bolt, sure. But, uh, I feel like I might get bolted in response if I therapy him. But, I think I'm just going to name Treasure Cruise here. I feel like that is a relatively safe name. And it looked like he just F6, so probably not a Lightning Bolt, which makes me even uh, more certain that he has at least one Treasure Cruise. So we see Cruise, Jace, and Council's Judgment. So uh, Judgment and Jace a little bit bigger. Uh, it's kind of weird to see like a bigger blue-white-red deck. Uh, generally these decks, if they have True Name, they have Stoneforge, so that kind of lends itself to having a Delver. Uh, but with Jace and Council's Judgment, I don't think he's playing Delver, but probably just some sort of like bigger Stoneforge deck. And if he goes for Jace, I can just bolt and fork bolt it. That's not really an issue. And then Treasure Cruise, so. Don't really hate my spot right now. 
Just depends on what these Treasure Cruise cards uh, give me, I suppose. So, Fate Sealed himself, which is good. I like that. Um, looks like he put it on the bottom. And we're going to Fork Bolt to clear out this Jace, so nothing really happened. I don't think his deck is a Daze deck, so I could fire off this Probe before I cruise, but uh, I don't think that's really necessary. And I don't mind... Uh, maybe I should just do that to not delve away this Therapy. Since I know he has Council's Judgment. Yeah, we'll do that. So, as Judgment and a Jite. So now I'm going to cruise for two mana, and I like <clears throat> I like not burning a ponder just to save a mana on cruise, because I kind of want to ponder after after I play cruise. So uh, we have a spell bomb, could be kind of scared over about treasure cruise and just like bomb him now, but uh, I would much rather have the card off this, especially knowing his hand. Uh, so we see a Stoneforge Mystic, pretty good thing that I kept this therapy. Um, yep, because he did get a batter skull and now he plays out the Jite. So, batter skull counsels judgment in hand. And we have another Blood Saint Meyer. So, I'm going to start things off by cracking the spell bomb. Draw a lightning bolt. That's pretty good. Now we can ponder to set up our Delver, or in this case, maybe double Delver, although. Uh, I probably have to bolt this stone forge and I have to sack a delver to therapy. Hmm. So <clears throat> probably just going to play a delver therapy the batter skull. Bolt the Stone Forge. I'm not going to take any risks for like him drawing a Spell Pierce. And then I could draw this Force if I want it. I do think I want that Delver, though. Yeah, so we're just going to bolt this now and get that thing out the way. Play Delver. Therapium. Get Batter Skull, not Batter Golem. And I guess now I can just play out this Delver. I, eh, maybe I should just draw this Force of Will, though. I think I should probably just do that. He has like a one-turn window. But then I have to keep five mana open every turn, which kind of stinks. I'm just going to draw this Force. And then I have a Bloodstained Mire on top. Uh, so, I know I'm going to crack my Mire, so maybe I should just do it now, so he can't, like, Vendillion me or something. And I'm just going to let this resolve, because it might be one of those things where he takes, like, a good card, uh, but then has to leave two bad ones. So, like, if he pondered into a true name here, maybe he would just take it, and then kind of lock himself. Uh, so then Brainstorms. This, I think I should counter... Because this lets him fix his hand. And I got spell pierced. Okay. So that kind of stinks. Uh, so might just have a stone forge here. Just as a 1-2. But no, it just wants to shuffle right now. Uh, I'm going to play out this Delver. It like, I, presumably the card he kept is Council's Judgment, but I think it's still worth playing out this Flooded Strand to get a peek off my Delver. If he decides to either shuffle away the Council's Judgment or just not use it entirely. So, kind of flooded out after this Treasure Cruise. Um, maybe I should have just not kept that Ponder? I don't know. Yeah, so there's a true name. So that's not good for me. That is no good. 
And yeah, it, do it does look like he shuffled away the Council's Judgment. So Delver's live, but now I have to deal with the G-Tech. And it looks like we are revealing a Swift Spear. So got to set our upkeep here. And I basically can't beat this combination of True Name Jite anyway. Uh, is there anything I can do? I don't think so. So I'll just shuffle, act like I drew a blank and conceded. I had outs, but didn't get there. Yeah, that game was that game was pretty interesting. Uh, the, th the therapies ended up being pretty good. I don't think I want these snuff outs. I think bolts are probably better. Played around days so those can go out. Uh, you can board out a force of will in these matchups. Probably just one. I <clears throat> uh, don't really want to draw multiples, but I think I definitely want one, especially with things like true name nemesis that are really tough to get off the table. So I want to be able to counter them if possible. Uh, and then I think from there, it's probably just Fork Bolt. There are some targets in Stoneforge Mystic and Vendillion, but I also have Lightning Bolts, I have Pyro Blasts, uh, I have Therapies to get the equipment, and Smash the Smithereens to get the equipment also. And I think I'm just going to cut a Swift Spear. Just an easy shave. Uh, try and keep my blue card count high. And yeah, we'll just we'll go from there. Uh, could also see, like, I, he, he fetched up a third Tundra instead of a second Volcanic, which is kind of interesting. Makes me think that the red is a super light splash. Uh, I would not be surprised to see some Pyro Blast, and if that's the case, maybe I want to bring in a Blue Blast for game three, but... Okay, uh, I'm definitely keeping this hand. I'm not sure how I'm going to play it. I have Smash for Artifacts, so if I just therapy Blind on turn one, I'm not sure what I would name. Uh, it's probably not Stoneforge, and if I was going to name True Name Nemesis, then I would want to wait until turn two, probably. Or my turn three, his turn two. So that he had more looks to actually draw one. Uh, kind of run the risk of him brainstorming in response, like the more time I give him, but I think that's an acceptable trade. Uh, but basically, I think I'm just going to ponder this turn. And see what happens. So more threats and more therapies. Uh, could also therapy for swords to plowshares. That seems like a pretty reasonable one. So uh, I, th I think this hand is actually pretty good. Or this hand plus these top three. Because I have a bunch of threats. I have smashed to answer an artifact. I have a bunch of cabal therapies. So this might, this might end up turning out pretty well. So I think my next turn is going to be uh, <clears throat> play Swiss Spear, play Therapy, uh, unless he just like has a mana open, in which case I might Therapy first for Swords. And then if I need to, then I can sack the Swiss Spear to flashback the Therapy. And then next turn I can play a Pyromancer, another Therapy, and then sack a token to flash it back. So uh, this, this hand looks pretty good. So he starts with a relic. That's that's gonna be pretty good. Not gonna be doing much cruising. Uh, this does give me the opportunity to play Swift Spear and then therapy him. Still think Swords of Plowshares is a pretty reasonable name here, at least this early in the game. Uh, it's probably pretty tough for him to keep a hand that doesn't have removal spells, so. Uh, two stone forges, sort of fire, nice ponder. So no removal, just a bunch of stone forge mystics. So give me a second to write this down. And now we're going to attack for two, and then end up two for twoing ourselves to get his stone forge mystics. Stone Fair Crocodile. No thank you. 
So, since I have Smash, I could certainly just not be as worried about these Mystics, and I have another therapy to just get the artifacts out of his hand. But uh, since he has Batter Skull, Jute, and a Sword, uh, I don't really want to mess with that too much. I think it's better to just get the two cards right now and use Smash for any top deck equipment that he might have. Now, get to start playing the Pyromancer game. And then get to therapy. Make a token. Uh, I'm just going to name the card that I know he has. Uh, this might get swords in response. That would not surprise me. So no, no swords. Get this fire and ice. And we have a reb and a fluster storm. This relic is probably going to give me all kinds of problems though, honestly. <clears throat> so I'm just going to sack now. Uh, I, I trade equally on tokens, and he's just going to be able to relic it away. So uh, I basically get a free card here. Uh, he fluster storms, not giving me the option to name a card, which I which I'm fine with, and I understand the logic for that. Uh, Red blast might be more valuable down the line, and I'll potentially be able to play around a fluster storm, especially since I know it's there. But now we're still in a, a pretty reasonable spot. You know, he's got Caracas and a Red Elemental Blast, but we got a bunch of stuff going on. He's, he's working on our graveyard. We could potentially smash that relic if ever gets to a point where, he, where we have a cruise, but at this point I'd rather just hold it for a Batter Skull or a Jute, so. Definitely like our spot. I like how this game played out. We had the Therapies, just tore his hand apart. And I wonder now if I should bolt him. Put him to 11. And then I have 7 power, so put him to 4. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And I can just swarm around a true name. If he ever has that. Ugh. Yeah, plus just throw my bolt. That's fine. Still dead in two turns, assuming no shenanigans. I would not be super surprised if this deck played Supreme Verdict. So I don't think there's any reason for me to commit this Delver, especially since I have him on a two turn clock. Uh, and if he does do something like play a blocker, it's possible I can catch him tapped out with the Relic and just smash it. He has a sword, so that cuts his, cuts his clock. And is just using the relic now to try and draw another card. And finds another sword. So, so now, still has a red blast. I wonder if I probe him if he'll blast it. Wouldn't surprise me. Might just save it for something meaningful, though. And if I was going to do this, I should have just done it before I attack, because I could draw Swift Spear. Hmm. If I play Delver, it'll just get rebbed. At this point. Or swept up in a Supreme Verdict, so... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to play anything this turn. I don't think there's any reason to. It just like allows him to use his mana, whereas he might draw and play a four drop, and then I'll get to resolve my spells. Well, it just concedes. So, uh, if he didn't draw a land there, and I attacked him to one, then he couldn't supreme verdict if he had it. This tells me he doesn't have terminus, so he's not you know some weirdo hybrid. But could certainly still have supreme verdict or explosives, or I guess can't have explosives because he conceded. So, could have Supreme Verdict, definitely doesn't have Terminus or Explosives. 
Uh, we did see a red blast, but again, it was super light. I don't know if it's worth it boarding in a blue blast just for that. Huh. I think the way we had it set up was just good. It's possible if he's relicking a bunch, I could go lower on crews. Therapies were good. I drew both, and they were pretty great. Maybe I should cut a cruise for a therapy. It does have a lot of reactive stuff, which therapy ends up being pretty good against. Like all the fluster storms and red blasts and, and whatnot. So we'll do that. And then make his relics a little bit worse. Uh, it, I believe this hand is good enough. Uh, this is kind of the problem with having basics in your deck where you have a bunch of different colored things, but I do have a probe and a ponder to dig. Draw another pyroblast, which is not incredibly useful. So, two brainstorm, cruise, sort of fire nice, true name nemesis, and a tarn. So don't get to do anything on this turn, really. And a bunch of uncastables, so I have to ship. So now, now we're in trouble. We drew an underground sea, so we have therapy live, but he has two brainstorms to hide his good cards, so it's going to be tough to actually snipe something. Really need to find a red source, and then I'll be able to, to fight him with these pyroblasts. If I don't find a red source next turn, though, it might be kind of tough. So we have a delta. That's great. That is great. Would not be surprised to see an end of turn brainstorm here. Try to draw a third land to maybe start deploying these true names, but also gotta be, gotta be kind of wary of me having things like Pyroblast. But this this might end up pretty well for me, where next turn uh, he might not jam true name. For fear of pyro and then i can therapy him and potentially pyro his brainstorm and like hit actually the card i want which in this case is probably true name so yeah it looks like that's where we're going although two cards or two mana open uh could have more than one brainstorm still there's four cards i know two unknowns Regardless, I think I'm going to therapy him. I just don't know what's going to actually happen. I don't think I actually want to pyro this brainstorm. Although I could be wrong about that. Maybe I should, because... I don't want to give him the chance to untap and have true name plus flusterstorm. Although I'm probably not winning that exchange this turn anyway if he has a flusterstorm, so... Uh, I, I know he had a Brainstorm Cruise, Sword of Fire Nice, True Name Nemesis. It's probably going to put the True Name on top. Uh, past that, I think Cruise and Sword are both reasonable cards to keep in his hand. Although the Sword could is like a card that you kind of want to shuffle away because you have Stone Forges in your deck. But he has like three equipment pieces, so <clears throat> I can see keeping that. I think keeping Treasure Cruise is more likely. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I just kind of feel like I have to actually make a move here. I have to actually use my mana because I have all these red cards in my hand that I'm not getting a chance to use. Okay. So now what is this awful thing that's going to happen to me? Fluster Storm. Oh, hard counter spell. That is adorable. So it looks like True Name is going to land. And that is not good. Not good at all. I can potentially swarm around that with Young Pyromancer. Flusterstorm Swords and a bunch of land. Island, Flooded Strand, Flooded Strand. Okay. So that was kind of unfortunate. 
Wish that exchange went better, although if he was going to find a Flusterstorm, uh, I was not going to be able to resolve my Pyro anyway. And now he's just cruising. Okay. This game's kind of kind of getting out of reach here, but... Oh, these, these stupid Swift Spears that I couldn't play earlier are just rotting in my hand now. Okay. It's a start, I suppose. Although not really, because he has Swords and Flusterstorm open, so... If I play Creature and Therapy, he's going to be able to... Uh, to Flusterstorm it. So I kind of have to keep open Pyro, but Pyro's still not going to do it. Hmm. Just have to hope that he shuffled away. I have to hope that he shuffled away the true name, but I don't think that is possible. I don't think that was ever a thing that would have happened. So, all right. We'll try we'll try and get around this thing. Not be surprised to see swords of plowshares happen here. And it does. Still get a token. Get to find out what he cruised into. And there is a true name and a spell pierce and an explosives. That's surprising because feel like if explosives was in his deck last game he didn't have to concede but what are you gonna do so drew another probe if I flashback therapy here he has to counter it with something try and draw land here I guess Draw Force of Will, that's good. Hmm. Well, now I think I'm, I'm kind of good to go. Sure. Force your spell pierce. Get your true name. Probably better to use Flusterstorm there just so I couldn't fight back over it, but I certainly understand, you know, wanting to use your spell pierce before it goes dead. So now, now we're kind of even. He's certainly up on more permanence, but Flusterstorm explosives, three lands. That's what I'm dealing with here, so. Don't really want to see a brainstorm from his side. Certainly don't want to see another treasure cruise. I have these dinky little one twos that are running around here. Kind of seeing the, the toll being taken on my mana base by adding this third color, but still. Uh you know, therapy has been good. I'm not sure if it's worth it. Well, if I'm gonna do this, I should play Swiss Beer first. I can certainly keep open Pyroblast mana, but it, it, I think it's going to be tough to do that. And he just pierces my spell bomb, so that's pretty good. Get pretty reasonable use out of a semi dead card. So it looks like Flusterstorm Explosives and a uh, Mystery Card. Maybe, yeah, it looks like he just sided out his Red Blast because it was kind of dead last game. Which is sort of surprising to me. Just probably brought in all the Flusterstorms and Spell Pierces. And yeah, now he's going for a Graveyard thing when it's like, really want to Spell Bomb you. So there's a Cruise. And a true name. So I'm in deep, deep trouble now. Get to ponder, yay. There's a pyromancer. 
certainly a start. Uh, I think I kind of just have to get these Swift Spears blown up with explosives because I need to uh, assemble Young Pyromancer. And then hopefully he doesn't do something like play Ajite this turn because otherwise I'm dead. So. Why do you get to cast Treasure Cruise and I don't? It's not fair. Alright, Explosives for one. Love it. It's fine with me. And you have a Stoneforge. That is not fine with me. And got a Sword of Fire and Ice. So, strange. But I guess it protects him. I don't know. Like, Batter Skull would protect him, too. Just could have sided out the Batter Skull, I suppose. So, don't find anything of note off the Brainstorm. Uh, just have to shuffle all this stuff back. He's going to activate Stoneforge to put the sword in so it can't be countered. Suit up the true name and then attack into my Pyromancer. I'm basically just dead here. Some mana troubles early. Uh, some some pretty good brainstorm shenanigans from my opponent hiding stuff from Cabal Therapy and and he just got too far ahead. Resolve cruises I didn't get to. I think this matchup is a little bit different if <clears throat> I'm not messing with the third color, but not at least this specific matchup. I think in general he is he's somewhat favored in the matchup. But uh, do you not find a smash to smithereens? Not like it would matter much, because even if I do find a smash, uh, his true name puts me to two life, and then I'm just dead on the next turn. So that's it. That is match.